cruise news time. And wow, we've had some tumultuous time for cruise passengers. A whole group of cruise passengers stranded under the threat of a disease now set free. Also, big, big story coming out of Europe. Uh, Princess newest cruise ship, the Sun Princess, may actually uh, have a maiden voyage. And, and there's a cruise company out there that's just calling it quits. They're, they're giving up on the 2024-2025 season because of turmoil. Yeah, cruise news and my views. Let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to La Little Loca. I am your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news and views for your face, for your face. Look, I'm back in the cut after being cut. Got a little, got a little scar here. After being cut, uh, ready to process through some uh, cruise news. I did make a whole video about the surgery that I just had. I'll tell you more about it at the end. But for those that are curious and want to see pictures, I got some doozy pictures for you. Cruise news story number one. Let's talk about the challenges going on with the Norwegian Dawn. Norwegian Dawn, they've been unable to dock in the country of Mauritius for fear, fear of a cholera outbreak, which is wild because cholera is one of those water-based diseases. You don't normally would think of seeing that on a cruise ship. Well, fortunately, the passengers that were stranded on the Norwegian Dawn have now been given the all clear, the all clear to dock in Mauritius. The cholera worry has been abated. There's no cholera on that cruise ship, but there are passengers that are struggling with a gastrointestinal illness, potentially norovirus, a lot less serious than a cholera outbreak. And so now Mauritius, the government there, the Mauritians, sounds like Martian, the Mauritians, it's a country in Africa near Madagascar. The Mauritians have allowed the guests there on the NCL Dawn to dock and to uh, go about their vacation. But it was a tumultuous couple days when this cruise ship potentially was stranded at sea, filled with thousands of passengers. But it sounds like it sounds like it's coming to a good end, you know, except for those who have some sort of gastrointestinal illness which uh, that's that's not nothing to joke about, for sure. I almost joked about it, but it's nothing to joke about. Cruise news story number two. Let me ask you this question. What is better than free internet at sea? Well, fast internet at sea. Virgin Voyages coming out in the face of all this conversation about Starlink and claiming that they will have the fastest internet at sea and fastest internet at sea by multiples. In touting the new offering, Virgin says they're going to be using a combination of different services to achieve 2.2 gigabits per second of connectivity, which really blows away what standalone Starlink is known for coming in at 220 megabits per second. Doing the math on that, that would make Virgin's free internet six times faster than what's usually expensive for pay Starlink on other cruise lines. And yeah, that's certainly exciting for people that need to use the internet for work or for leisure. Uh, the only thing that worries me is somebody who likes to upload videos those are the download speeds that we're talking about. And when it comes to uh, video creation, the upload is what is important. So uh, a lot of times, even with Starlink, the upload is not great. So hopefully, whatever mix of technology Virgin's using, hopefully it will include a good upload speed. But that's exciting. I don't know if that would make it a differentiator to choose Virgin over other cruise lines. Of course, Virgin doesn't have as many ships or as many itineraries. But, uh, you know, if you are somebody that's cruising Virgin frequently, this could be a really big boon when it comes to having fast, fast internet which is uh, quite exciting. Now, our next cruise news story kind of encourages me to break out in song. Will you allow it? Will you? Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, I say shout out, ludicrous. Here comes the sun. And we're talking about the sun princess. Finally, the heavens have aligned. Everything is opened up. And it does look like we will have a maiden voyage for the sun princess this twice canceled cruise ship has been on the move from the shipyard to Chevecchia over there in Italy. That's the cruise port near Rome to take on passengers starting on the 28th. 
Let me check the calendar. Tomorrow, taking on passengers tomorrow for its first inaugural sailing. Um, I was supposed to be on the sailing on the 8th of February, which did not happen. But uh, now this brand new high-tech Sun Princess with a lot of amenities will now be coming into service. I'm going to be watching that closely. Super excited. Are you booked on the Sun Princess? Leave a comment below. Cruise news story number four. A wild story coming off the Carnival Jubilee. I guess the captain was incapacitated the other day and Gwen Stefani, she drove the cruise ship. Oh, no, no, that's just a promo picture. She, I guess, my bad. She, I've been out of, I've been out. No, she, uh, she christened. That's what it was. She christened, she ain't no holler back girl. I'll just say that. But she christened the Carnival Jubilee. So now the Jubilee has been officially named, and we don't have to call it Carnival's newest cruise ship. We can officially call it the Jubilee, or the Jubilee, the Ch She ain't no hollerback, girl. Yeah, uh, they, they lassoed the thing and pulled it. It was cool. Uh, congratulations, Carnival. Yeehaw, how about that? Now, I gotta tell you about this cruise line that's canceling a whole season for the end of 2024 into 2025. But before I do that, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. Do you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising? Do you? Well, it, 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 you might not, but if you do, there's one way to stay in the know, and that is to subscribe to this YouTube channel, La Lido Loca. Subscribe to this bad boy right here. Subscribe, notification bell. That way you don't miss out on anything and you don't sound like a cruise dummy. Sometimes you, you yeah, let me just say that. Don't sound like a cruise dummy. Be in the know. Mm, do it. Do it now. Mm, do it. Okay, here's the deal. Virgin Voyages getting ready to reposition the resilient lady from the Mediterranean down to Australia to do Australian and New Zealand cruises at the end of 2024 into 2025. Just made a big announcement to people booked on those cruise itineraries saying, we ain't gonna do it. Not, not going to, not going to, can't do it. The reason they're not gonna do it is they're concerned about repositioning that cruise ship with their staff and anybody that may be on that cruise ship, repositioning it through the Red Sea, through the Suez Canal. There's trouble going on there with the Houthis and uh, other people. People are causing missiles, rockets, and uh, Richard Branson said, look, we're not, we're not gonna do it. So we're gonna cancel all of those Australia, New Zealand, 2024, 25, we're gonna cancel that season, about 25 cruises. We're just gonna take that ship and reposition it out of the Med over to the Caribbean and people will be able to enjoy the resilient lady over there. Were you on that cruise? Have you been cancellated? Sad day for my friends in Australia and New Zealand. If you were, leave a comment below. And look, it's it's been peeking out. Of course, I just came back from surgery. Like I said, if you wanna see the pictures, if you wanna see the scar up close, if you wanna see the picture of the alien that came out of my neck, uh, make sure you check this video out next. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. Till the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. <laughs>